the move in and out 2 di expression makes something that might not seem as spectacular as most of the other physics simulations, but it's nevertheless very uh, useful and has just some subtle differences to what you probably usually do to animate elements in and out. So what I have prepared here already is a layer, a text layer with a position, and the position is static at this point here, yeah, and no movement at all, although I have already set two keyframes. And why did I have set two keyframes? Because the move in and out 2D has some time that needs to be specified when to move in and when to move out. And the default is that it moves in at the first keyframe and that it moves out at the last keyframe. Yeah? So if you apply it to this uh, position here, uh, apply, you can see that now it moves here in and moves here again out, yeah, like this. Okay, why very nice. So why do you need an expression for this? This really doesn't seem to be very spectacular. Um, of course, you could do the same with keyframes. Yeah? And I have prepared here already some layers. And let me just make them visible. So this is move in and out 2D with eye expressions. And now let's say we move in and out with just keyframes. Yeah, and I, you see here, I have two layers that have to the position just usual keyframes applied, and then to the middle one, to this one here, I applied easy ease. Yeah, I went to this keyframe here and said, for example, animation, uh, keyframe assistant, easy ease um, in in this case. Yeah, bec uh, uh, right in because here it moves inside of this point yeah and at this point you can see i applied easy ease out and if you compare these three movements it looks like this yeah so i've timed the keyframes such that here at the beginning they are all at the same position and here at the end they are all at the uh, same position except that hey, they have different lengths yeah but and if you look at the feeling of the different movements you can see the easy ease already looks a bit smoother than the linear one, which really starts abruptly. And then you can see that the eye expression is still a bit more smooth. Yeah, so it feels a bit softer, a bit more organic. Yeah, this is nothing very uh, vis very visible, but if you if you compare them, so so the movement of this just feels softer, just feels smoother, and this is because it is continuously accelerated and continuously deaccelerated. So this is something very, very organic, very physical that, that is going on there. So the, the way how this movement is computed makes it feel really smooth. So this is uh, the main idea of this. And once you understood why you should not use this keyframing instead, let's see how to use uh, this eye expression. So um, again, the easiest way is to keep this here as first, last, a first keyframe and last keyframe and if you wanted to move in set at this point your first keyframe and you want to move it out set here your last keyframe uh, by the way when you start moving these keyframes i move them up now the movement direction here uh updates accordingly yeah so um nothing nothing special you do not have to specify here or update your direction once you moved it if you want to move in other direction, you have to specify these angles here differently, angle in and angle out. So the best way to understand these values is to look uh, at the help of the eye expression. I click here on the help symbol to open the browser. And here in the help, you can see here is this little image. This has a direction. So 270 means from left. This is currently specified here for angle in. And 90 is specified for move out, yeah, angle out. Therefore, it moves to the right. You can also come from the top and go to the bottom, for example, by putting here 0 and 180. Yeah. If you apply this, apply it moves from the start or it comes from the top and moves to the bottom. And see really how organic this feels, yeah, how, how natural it moves in and out. 
Uh, then the next thing that you can control is here the, the acceleration, which is basically how fast it moves in and out. Yeah, if we set this to 500, for example, and apply it again, you can see it moves much faster. Yeah, and you can also set it to something smaller, like say 50, and then of course it moves slower. Yeah. Okay, so this is a general idea of the move in and out 2D. There exists also a 3D variant which makes basically the same just for 3D layers that come from, uh, so move in or out in an arbitrary direction in 3D space.